Hello again, boys and girls. This is Ms. Contreras. Um, we're on our last lesson for chapter 11. This is lesson 13, and we're still doing metric units, and this one we're doing units of capacity. Okay, so our learning target is that I can convert metric units of capacity within the same measurement system, so we're working with only units of capacity when it comes to our metric system here. Okay, so this one will be a relatively quick one because, as you can see in the picture below, we only have milliliters compared to liters. So one liter, the abbreviation being the capital L, one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. And because it's milliliters, it's the M with the capital L for ML milliliters. So you can see it says one milliliter is about the amount of liquid in an eyedropper. So that little amount you can see there. Whereas compared to the milliliter, a liter is about the size of a medium-sized sports drink, the liquid inside, okay? So we need to understand that a milliliter is small, the smaller version and liter is the larger unit, sorry, not version, unit, okay? So again, just like I've said in my past lessons, I have this purple picture printed out next to me so that I remember what the conversion is, but this one is a pretty simple one to remember. One liter equals a thousand milliliters, and that's what we have to remember for this. Okay, so we're gonna move right into it and do example one. A dripping faucet wastes about 90 liters of water every week. How many milliliters of water is this? So in this one, we're converting um, 90 liters to milliliters. And the reason we're multiplying here is because from that chart we just looked at, a liter is larger than a milliliter, which makes us know we're multiplying. And then the only conversion we need to know for this entire lesson is that one liter equals a thousand milliliters, which is why we're multiplying by a thousand. So if I'm showing you based on what we did, what we've been doing with our decimal, I know I'm converting 90. My decimal point would be at the end there because I'm multiplying by a thousand. I move it over three places, which means I'm adding three more zeros, and you can see what answer they got there was 90,000 milliliters. So 90 liters is equal to 90,000 milliliters. Okay, so to answer the example question, a dripping faucet wastes 90,000 milliliters. There's a reminder for you guys to make sure faucets are all the way off so we don't waste water. Okay, let's move on to our next example. Okay, example two. A container of orange juice holds 580 milliliters. How many liters is, this is in 580 milliliters? So on this one, we're switching and we're doing milliliters turned into liters. So one liter, we know from our conversion, one liter is equal to a thousand milliliters. And we are going to divide because we're starting with a smaller unit and we're gonna divide by that 1,000. Okay. Okay, so 580 divided by that thousand that we're doing and you can see that blue box on the side says to move the decimal point three places to the left because when we divide, we move to the left and make a number smaller. And we're moving it three places because there's three zeros here. And remember from our previous lessons, when you don't see the zero, it's always after the ones place at the end. We're gonna move it like it says, one, two, three places to the left, put my decimal there. So I changed 580 milliliters to 5800 hundredths of a liter. So 580 milliliters is the same as 58 hundredths of a liter. Right there. Okay, so the container holds 58 hundredths of a liter of orange juice. Okay, so there's our second example there. Let's move into some of our practice problems. So here's two problems we have here. We have on this one, a liter to a milliliter. And boys and girls, for this whole lesson, the big thing we need to know is that one liter is equal to one, sorry, it's not very straight, 1,000 
very off, 1,000 milliliters. Okay, so all we have to do is remember, we got to figure out if we're multiplying or dividing. You can see we're multiplying because we're starting with the bigger unit, which is liters. So we're multiplying six times 1,000. I don't even have to do my decimals for that. Six times 1,000, I hope we know, is 6,000. And my zeros are not looking great today. So again, so six liters is equal to 6,000 milliliters. Okay, then down here you can see they flipped it. So now we're starting with milliliters converting to liters. Because we're starting with that smaller unit, this time we're going to divide. And I am gonna take this over here just to make sure we see it. Dividing by 1,000, because one liter equals 1,000 milliliters. My decimal's all the way over here on the side. Because I'm dividing by 1,000, move it to the left one, two, three times. Our decimal is going to take the place of that comma there, and I end up with the whole number seven. So 7,000 milliliters is equal to seven liters. Okay, move into our next problems. Okay, we have four problems here to do. Let's look. All we have to do is make sure we pay attention. We know we're going to multiply or divide by 1,000 on this because the only measurement we need is that one liter equals 1,000 milliliters. So the big thing we have to figure out is whether we're starting with that small unit or that larger unit. So we know whether we're multiplying or dividing. So on this one, I look. Okay, starting with a liter. A liter is the larger unit, which means I'm multiplying by 1,000. My decimal's right here. Because it's 1,000, I move it to the right three times. Put my decimal there, add my three zeros. So 70 times 1,000 would give me 70,000. So 70 liters is the same as 70,000 milliliters. Okay, we're flipping it over here. This time we're starting with milliliters, which means now we are dividing by 1,000. Remember when I don't see my decimal, always at the end next to the ones place. I'm dividing on this one, which means I'm moving to the left three spots. One, two, three. Decimal goes there, fill in that empty space with our placeholder. So 10 milliliters is equal to, oops, wrap the zero in front of it, is equal to one hundredth of a liter. And I've said this before in previous lessons, you can have the zero in front, that does not change the answer that is the same, that is still one hundredth of a liter. Okay, down here. Now we're starting with liter again because we're starting with that larger unit. What do we do? We multiply. So we have one and two tenths times a thousand because remember that's the only measurement we need is one liter equals a thousand milliliters. Multiplying this time by a thousand, which moves one, two, three spots. Put my new decimal there. Fill in those placeholders. So one and two tenths of a liter is the same as 1,200 milliliters. Okay, last problem on this page. Okay, we're flip-flopping it again. So now we're starting with milliliters. Since milliliters is a smaller unit, I need to divide. So 3,500 milliliters, but I am dividing by 1,000. My decimal's at the end. One, two, three. Oh, and it replaces that comma again. So 3,500 milliliters is the same as three and five tenths liters. Okay, we have just our comparing problems to do. Look at our comparison problems. Okay, we have two compare and contrast. So we're using greater than, less than, or equal to to make this statement true, just like we've seen in previous lessons. So just like we've learned, we can either change the liters here to milliliters or we can change the milliliters to liters. So we'll do one of each. So on this one, let's change our two liters into milliliters. So if I'm starting with the liters, I'm starting with larger units, which means I'm going to multiply by a thousand. I don't even think we need to do our decimal for this one because we should know two times 1,000 should leave us with 2,000. That means I'm gonna put it up here, 2,000, and I converted it from liters to milliliters. Well, I'm hoping we can see it pretty clearly after we do that. What's larger, 2,000 milliliters or 1,000 milliliters? Definitely 2,000 milliliters, so we put our greater than symbol there. OK, 
okay? And then this time, let's change our milliliters into liters. So this time, let's change the milliliters. So this time, we're starting with a smaller unit, which means we're going to divide. We're changing 390 milliliters into liters, okay? So we're going to divide, and we know we're going to divide by 1,000. So we're going to take our 390. Our decimal goes at the end. We're gonna move it to the left because we're dividing three spaces because it's 1,000, one, two, three. That would give me 39 hundredths of a liter. Oh, and we should be able to see on this if we compare it to the other number. 39 hundredths of a liter. They are equal to each other. Okay, so we switch both. You could do both of them. You could change them both to liters, to milliliters, whatever you want to do. We did one division problem and one multiplication problem, so you could see each one and how it's done. Okay, so your assignments, boys and girls, that was the end of chapter 11. That was the last lesson there. So you complete the lesson 13 reteach page. On Prodigy, make sure you do all the teacher assigned lessons for conversions because we just finished our last conversion lesson. Also on iReady, make sure all your conversion lessons are complete that your teacher has assigned. And if you're all done with all that work, you have a choice of what math program you get to work on today, but make sure your Prodigy and iReady lessons are done first. And hopefully you did well with these conversions. Make sure you ask your teacher if you need any questions or support during their office hours. Thank you.